Can you tell that I'm psyched about this? Very nicely packaged. Yep. Let me show you. If you never built a DIY 3D printer before, this is probably gonna look terrifying. But I promise you, it's not that bad once you start to build it. But basically, we have the two main uh, parts for the frame. It's all aluminium. We do have some acrylic parts over here, but I, but I believe these two parts are the uh, filament holders, so it's not actually part of the frame. So I guess you could say the majority of the frame is made from aluminium, which is super nice the heated bed has a sheet of glass which is a substitute for the tape a lot of people are using I don't know which one is better but I would believe the glass is uh, is more convenient to use here we have the four X Y and C axis motors they also decided to put a protective guard on it which is just a nice touch uh, here we have the extruder motor looks very nice indeed with a 0.3 millimeter nozzle and here we have the uh, bunch of bags and basically this is this is mostly as nuts and bolts uh, but you also have some cables the drive belts and uh, yeah you know just a bunch of accessories here we have the power supply some uh, PVC piping I don't know what that's for but I guess we'll I guess we'll just find out. Here we have the threaded and steel rods. And more parts. Here we have the display. And here is the main controller. So that's all the parts that is included in the kit. They also provide you with the greatest thing ever. It's a screwdriver kit. Thank you. Again, just a super nice touch. FYI, I will follow a, um, a series of build videos made from GTech. If you can't find it, I will leave a link in the description below. Take a look there, let's start the build. I remember building the Anit A8 printer, the one in here, was just a pain because the bags were not labeled so it would take forever to find the correct nut and bolt you were looking for. With the bags labeled like this and the parts list, it just makes it so much easier and quicker to find what you're looking for. Uh, and that's why the building process is just so much more enjoyable and uh, instead of tedious searching. So good job with the packing. Just a pure pleasure to build. There is no guesswork, everything just snaps together. Having fun building my 3D printer.
Here's a quick tip, undo these two screws when inserting the two rods. That will make it a lot easier to get it in. When you're done, tighten back up. That's how you do it. There's only some cable management left to do, but other than that, the printer is now physically completed. Next step will be fixing the endpoints and just make sure everything works. However, I do realize that this video might get rather long, so I've decided to cut it into two parts. Oh yeah, by the way, I decided not to build the, uh, the filament holder because I think I'm gonna do something similar to what I did to the Anet A8 where I have the filament holder attached to the printer. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel to get notified next time I upload a video.